गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर नंबर एंड लॉजिक पजल सो जस्ट ड्रॉइंग द इक्वेशन हियर सी वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इन दिस बोर्ड हियर नाउ फोर प्लस सेवन प्लस टू इक्वल टू टू एट वन फोर टू एट वन फोर Four, five, six. Two plus eight plus five equal to one six four zero three six. Now you have to find the value of this one. So eight plus four plus six. What will be the value of eight plus four plus six? Just jump into the logic. Let's denote the first row of equation as one, the second one as two, three, four, and the last row of equation is five. From row one, what we actually get? Four plus seven plus two equal to two eight one four three five. Now, what is the logic behind this? If we Take these two digits and these two digits. That is four seven and seven two, respectively. What do we get? And if we multiply these two, that is four into seven equal to twenty eight. Seven into two equal to fourteen. Now put these two values, two multiplication values together. What do we get? Putting them together, we get two eight one four. These are four digits in the first row of equation here. Two eight one four. Now, how to get the fifth digit? So, if we take the first digit in the left hand side and subtract one from it. So we get four minus one equal to three. Now put that three here. It is equal to this three here. Okay, and now the case is five. Now add them seven plus four plus two, and then again add two with them. What we get? Thirteen plus two equal to fifteen. Now, if we take only five of the digit fifteen and put it after this digit, so it is equal to that five, and the whole number is just equal to the first to the right hand side of the first row of equation. So, hope you have got the logic. Similarly, similarly, in case uh, applying the same logic for the second row of equation, what we get? Row two. What we get? First, seven into three five three into nine equal to twenty one and twenty seven. 
so four digits as two one two seven two one two seven is derived. Similarly, now if we uh, add one with the first digit of the left hand side of row, of row two, what we get? 7 plus 1 equal to 8. Put it here. So we get 21278. 21278. Now, as for the third case, in its, in its previous logic, if we add all these three, 7 plus 3 plus 9, as we have done the same thing in while uh, finding the right hand side number for the first row of equation similarly if we add these three numbers and again adding to with all the result so 19 plus 2 equal to 21 and if we take put this one here so we get 212781 212781 so the second row of equation is also derived got it similarly applying the same logic for row 3 Applying the same logic for row 3. What we get? 6 into 2 pipe 2 into 7 equal to 1, 12, 14. Now, Subtracting again 1 from 6. So put this here. We get 1, 2, 1, 4, 5. That is the 5 is the fifth digit. And again add all of them 6 plus 2 plus. 7 so that is 8 plus 7 equal to 15 now add only 1 so we get 16 and put this 6 here so what we get 1 2 1 4 5 6 that 1 2 1 4 5 6 is the number put in right hand side for the third row so the third row of equation is complete. Similarly, in case of row 4, that is 2 into 8 pipe, 8 into 5 equal to 1, 6, 4, 0. 1640. Now adding 1 with the first digit of left hand, left hand side of fourth row of equation that is 3. Similarly, put this 3 here. 16403. 3 is the fifth digit. So now only we have to find the last digit 6. How to get it? Similarly putting the same logic. If we add all the numbers or digit 2 plus 8 plus 5. 15. Now add 1. 16. Put this here. So 16403. 
got it now hope you have got this logic for row 4 now only the row 5 which we have to find how to get row 5 in case of row 5 so 8 into 4 pi 4 into 6 should be 3 to 2 4 now if we add the previous one was subtracting 1 and that is first uh, for first row it was 4 plus 1 addition of 1 for second row it was subtraction for third row it was again for the first row it was subtraction second row addition third row subtraction fourth row addition now in case of fifth row subtracting one we get seven so fifth digit is derived now only left the final one now if we add all the digits 8 plus 4 plus 6 for the first 2 we have added 2 for the 3rd and 4th we have added 1 now for the 5th if we add 2 we get 18 plus 2 equal to 20 and that 0 will be here or if we add 1 whatever we can do any number any digit we can add either 2 or 1 according to our previous logic so 18 plus 1 equal to 19 also we can put 9 in the as a last digit so it will be either 322470 or 322479 so for the last one there will be two answers one is 322470 and 322479 that's the all. So what actually the logic and what is the synopsis? The synopsis is the synopsis is if we if A, B or C a, B and C are th uh, 3 digits. So A into B, B into C for the first one. A minus 1, the second one and A plus B plus C plus 2, the third one. This is equal to the first and second row of equation. For third and fourth row, first and second row of equation. For third and fourth row of equation, the logic is absolutely, the first line of logic is absolutely same. A into B, B into C. For the second one, A plus 1, that is A minus 1 plus 1. And for the third line of logic, it will be plus 1 instead of plus 2. Similarly, for 5th and 6th row of equation, it will be A into B, B into C, A minus 1, A plus 1, A minus 1, A plus 1, A minus 1 for the third one, second line of logic and for the third line of logic, it will be A plus B plus C plus either 2 or A plus B plus C plus 1. Any one of that. Hope you have got this.
this is a bit, bit complex thing. I agree with your sentiment. But this one is very important because the similar question was uh, appeared in the IAS exam in few years back. So this is very important for you who are uh, preparing for your upcoming competitive exams. So that's all for this time now. Thanks from my end. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.